Good morning, my darlings. We are on Proverbs chapter four. It is by far one of my favorite chapters. I love it because it talks about wisdom. Hopefully you have something hot to drink. I'm having some tea this morning. And I'll be reading from the King James Version, Proverbs chapter four. And I think I just want to read it because there's just so much wisdom in it. Beautiful words, beautiful words. So let's just read and see what happens. Uh, King James Version. Hear, ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsaking not my law, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandment and live. Get wisdom, powerful verse, get wisdom. Get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the word of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her. Who is her? Wisdom. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Wisdom. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom, I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be strained, straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Let me read that in the Amplified Version, verse 12. Verse 12 in the Amplified Version. When you walk, your steps shall not be hampered. Your path will be clear and open. And when you run, you shall not stumble. I have both the KJV and the Amplified Version here. Verse 13. Take fast hold of instructions. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their steps is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. I'm going to read that in the Amplified Version. Verse 16. For they cannot sleep unless they have caused trouble or vexation. Their sleep is taken away unless they have caused someone to fall. Verse 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. 
But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, my daughter, my sister, my friend, attend not to, the, to my word. My son, attend to my words, verse 20. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my things. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart. Keep your heart. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. This is one of the verses that I'm using in my new book coming up soon, uh, How to Gather Data on the Guys You Date. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Let me read that in the Amplified, verse 23. Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance, and above all that you, you guard, for out of it flow the springs of life. Powerful. Verse 24. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and perverse lips put far from you. Let me read that in the Amplified, verse 24. Put away from your false and dishonest speech and willful and contrary talk put far from you. 25. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. I love that. Proverbs chapter four. I love the entire book. But there is so much in here. Let me go back to verse seven. Wisdom is the principal thing. What is principal? It's the foundational thing. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. So get wisdom. And with all you're getting, with all you're getting, getting wisdom, get understanding. What is wisdom? Wisdom is knowing what to do when you don't know what to do, okay? Remember Solomon, the writer of Proverbs. He was a young man when he became king. And the Lord came to him and said, Solomon, ask me whatever you ask me, I'm going to give it to you. And what did Solomon ask for? Wisdom. Wisdom to be king. <clears throat> wisdom to lead the people. He asked God for wisdom. Even though in his later life, he allowed his wives, I'm not, I can't think about a word right now, his wives who were not Jewish women, to lead his heart away to worship Baal and false gods and do all kinds of crazy things and offer sacrifices. But in his later years, Solomon came back. Solomon came back to the Lord and he said, all is vanity. Let me see if I find that. Ecclesiastics 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Fear God, Solomon is saying, and keep his commandments, his word, For this is the whole duty of man. Fear God. Keep his commandments. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be bad. So the man that wrote Proverbs and Ecclesiastes and the wisest man that has ever lived next to the Lord Jesus Christ who allowed his wives to turn his heart away from the living God, Solomon later came back to God and he said in Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the whole con 
the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of man. God, man was created to worship God, to live for God. God wanted a family. What did he do? He put Adam and Eve in the garden. Sure, they sinned and walked away from God. But in Revelation, said Jesus Christ is the lamb who was slain from the foundations of the earth. So even though Adam sinned, God knew he was going to sin and God had a plan for him. And so in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. With all you're getting, get understanding. Verse 7, Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, get understanding. Ladies, dating, you're dating. You need understanding on how to date. You need to understand how men think and how men operate. Okay? Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all you're getting, get understanding. I love that. How about you? Do you love that? Get wisdom. Get wisdom. If you have not subscribed to Church Girls Want to Get Married, please be sure to subscribe. Please share, invite a friend, and um, join me again for another um, Proverbs. And look at all the Proverbs, okay? I have a playlist of Proverbs. Play them while you're at work, while you're in your car. Just let them play so you can get some understanding of Proverbs and some wisdom. Read a proverb a day. Love you. Get wisdom. Get wisdom with all you're getting. Get understanding. I love you. Talk to you later. Remember to subscribe and share. Have a good day. Bye.